So we've decided to um, modify this trailer instead of build another one right now. Because this one actually is really nice. Could be a little bit bigger, but um, serves the purpose. So what we're going to do is we took out the old bed. I'll put a picture in here. Basically it came out to this post all the way across and then we had the big uh, steps and stuff right here so it basically took all the room. What we're going to do is um, my son's going to weld up a piece of angle iron, 2 inch angle, 8th inch, uh, right across here and across here and that's going to be basically the sides of a bed frame and then we're just going to put slats across all the way across. Uh, that'll get everything off the ground. There will be no no legs or anything uh, sticking down and that way we'll have uh, a nice sturdy bed at the top. We probably will put one two before across underneath there and at the top um, just screw it to the frame just as additional support just in case but um, anyway because it'll be mostly just slats and then we'll get the uh, camper uh, mattresses. They Two twin size should fit right here perfectly, or one queen. Um, probably just go with the one queen. It might be cheaper than buying two twins. So uh, that way we'll have the bed up off the ground. I'll still probably sleep underneath, and then we'll have all this extra space basically from from about right here um, on back to uh, for the stove or the propane, Mr. Buddy, or whatever we're gonna do. Uh, should work out a lot better. Um, anyway, there's the. Uh, the bed frame we took out and then the legs down there. Um, I do have a picture, I'll put it in here, but anyway, right now we're just gonna cut the two the two pieces for here and he's gonna be in here uh, prepping um, for the welding. So, be back in a minute. So we're just here cutting our two pieces of angle iron that are gonna go in the trailer. And, um, we're just getting a cut with the grinder right here. We didn't really want to pull out the saw. So, there we go. Got the cut. There we go. Simple. And here they are cut. Got the angle on there so we don't, this right here will be the extra that's sticking out. So we just cut that off so we don't have a corner sitting there. Um, this side too. And then we'll put them up. Just gonna finish cleaning them off now. A little bit of wire brush and then he'll be ready to weld. Alright, first one's up. Cleaning off the BBs. And we'll have to put the next one on right here. And we'll be ready for our slats. Quick, easy fix I think. Hey, that works good. Oh, here that says. Uh, we're gonna get one more brace. I'm um, scooting them a little closer. That's probably enough for the two boys, but just in case. And then we'll put our OSB plywood um, on top for the mattresses. And we've kind of been talking about it that we are probably has another idea. We're gonna cut them down the middle this way, and then there'll be exactly enough space to fit up here because that'll be 33. And then we can, um, if it's just two of us or it's raining really bad, um, what we can do is we're going to make them on a hinge so they'll fold up. Um, just slide them over each other and then fold up to the top. And then we can just take all of these, push them down. And then we'll have us a little table, um, especially with five, that'll be more. And then those will be hinged up out of the way. And we'll have all this area to sit in and stuff out of the rain. Be back shortly when we get the next step done. Did change right here. We're gonna move, put a little, just a little box on the wall for the um, 
the inverter and stuff to go. And then put some hooks up here and up here to hang all this. Uh, a little PVC tube to keep all of the um, hot dog sticks and fire stuff in. Um, our big rack. And then when we're camping, we can when we come in, we can put our hunting vests and gear and stuff right there so that it'll dry um, and hang up and our hats and whatever and not have it thrown on the ground or whatever. So, um, yeah, I think this, uh, you know, we were talking about doing a new one, like we had said, but um, so far this is good. And you know, even without insulation, well, one little small Mr. Buddy keeps it plenty warm in here. Um, and when we do have electric, actual electric, not the 12 volt, um, that we run through. We just hook up to the RV joint and run an extension cord through there. Um, uh, one of those little ceramic, you know, 1500 watt heaters. We had two of them going last year and uh, uh, dude, we had to turn them down to low because it was still warm in here. Uh, so just it's closed up and sealed up enough that even with the cold tin and stuff, it works great. So, um, haven't decided if we're going to try to fix that to fit in there again or not. Um, it's really just a lot of space. I mean, it's nice, um, but it, you know, means I have to put a hole in there and a vent and whatever. But with the Mr. Buddy, you know, we have enough air right in here along the bottom and a couple sides, uh, you know, and then just crack the, the window right here just enough uh, that we get plenty of airflow in there and don't have to worry about it. So no point in making it harder than it is that's the whole point of this is just to pull up unpack and then throw everything in and drive home um, we keep everything but the guns in here so when we are ready to go usually we just fill our ice chest up with uh, the food and our one dry box with the dry food and hit the road so um, probably add a few more things after we start throwing things in and see where they go um, thinking about putting in one uh, modifying our table so that it'll fit right up in here between these points um, as a, a block because since this is a boat trailer um, th th there's a lot of tongue weight uh, because the wheels are so far back um, the table will go right here um, as a brace just to keep everything from sliding forward um, and then we can just kind of set everything back here uh, right over the axle the axles exactly right here on this uh, these two so that's the center of the axle there and then as long as we don't go past that first bar right here and right there should be balanced pretty well uh, you know storage and stuff this was just kind of we just throw this on the floor by the door so we'd always have to get all of that junk out um, before we can set up but now we'll be able to just kind of get everything done and then you know this is all fire and whatever stuff so we don't need it till we make our first fire or start to cook, so it'll just be easier to get it out at that point. So, stay tuned. Okay, so it is finally, finally, officially done. Um, my wife found this carpet on Craigslist for free with a really good pad on it. Um, real thick, nice pad, so we went ahead and cut a piece for that. Um, took out this brown stuff that was in there before and we have done um, actually we just had used it up here for the new bed that we put down so that we wouldn't get this you know OSB splinters on it and stuff so that'll be where the um, actually we're getting mother-in-law's RV mattress they bought a new one for their RV and then we're getting the queen RV mattress that's only about a year or two old and that'll go in here uh, here's our new table that we had made. Um, it's for camping. We cut it exactly the right size so that it would go in between each side over here so that it will be the, the stop. Um, again, the axles right here, um, even with this across, so we wanted to make sure everything didn't slide too far forward, not too far back. With the carpet in here, we don't have to tie down anything. Uh, just stack it all in. We can still get in and out and get stuff. Um, that's our jacks and everything. Uh, so yeah, got our little cot mate up there. Uh, you get those at Cabela's or wherever. Um, makes for a good place to put phone, wallet, lights, whatever. Um, wired another light up front up there. Um, and right here, of course, those are the so strips you get from Academy or sports stores. LEDs, uh, pretty much run. This is an old scooter battery. That's what we're gonna use. Gonna build us a little box where we used to have the big steps. And I just build a little box right here. Um, Probably actually put it right up under here and hang it on that. Um, and that'll be where the batteries go and probably my 
AC inverter and a little power port. I won't really need the power port anymore. The only thing we used it for was for the air mattress um, uh, <coughs> air mattress pump, but we won't have that anymore uh, because we actually, I actually have a small mattress up there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, that's an IKEA little small mattress, and with this carpet pad and that, um, that should be plenty for me on the floor. Um, I always sleep underneath right here, and the two boys up here. And then uh, that's it. So everything's in, ready to go. All of our campfire stuff hanging here for traveling. Uh, poker sticks, all that stuff right there, like I said, um, right here, uh, earlier. Anyway, all around, be good. Little Mr. Buddy will go down here in the corner once we get everything out when we get there. Uh, so, yeah, now this uh, actually should dramatically decrease the pack time. Um, all we got to do is pull the ice chest out. Fill it with our food, put it in our dry box, and we're ready to go. So, once again, all the upgrades done. Like I said, we were going to insulate it, but um, it's fine. 